Some disturbing information has come to my attention about Planet Romero, or Evil Corp's medical research colony. Because it is one of their leading research facilities, Evil Corp keeps tight control of all planetary communication. Even so, reports have leaked out. Reports that creatures described as walking dead are attacking the unwary. The Queenidans need someone to assess the situation on Romero. Someone brave, someone fearless, someone like you, Mechia. Will you go? Thank you, Mechia. Find out if these reports are true and keep me informed of your progress. Understood? If this is some kind of shadow site activity, we need to know. Be careful. Planet Romero. So, this is Romero, huh? Seems quite enough. Attention! Attention. Outbreak detected in Sector B8. All civilians, please clear the area. Spoke too soon. <laughs> and I think I can guess which, which sector I'm in. <laughs> Warning, you appear to be headed for a sword fight. Would you like to equip a different energy blade? Yes, I think. Oh no, actually no. Battle on. Hey, these zombies we know from Dragon Fable, but they wear different clothes now. Their attack animation is different. It's very different. And of course the combat system is a lot, lot less uh, complicated, a little bit more simplistic than uh, in Dragon Fable, the hand-to-hand -hand combat, yes. How are you not dead? I mean, you are dead. How are you not re-dead? There we go. This gives some nice XP. Whoa! Oh, snap! It's Artix! Whew! I was worried you were not going to leave me any zombies. Thanks. Uh, what in the universe are you wearing? No time for that now, friend. These zombies are not going to slay themselves. Well, technically, they are already dead, right? I really like the way you think. Charge! <laughs> ah, it's Artix! Yes! Nice. Very nice to meet you. I am Artix. Oh, Captain Artix von Krieger. Captain Jack Sparrow, okay. I wonder, I wonder if Mackie is going to say, say I thought you would be taller, taller with, with a deeper, deeper voice. voice. Where the heck have you been? What? <laughs> I am serious. You have not posted on the Alpha Qua Sector Quantum reports in, in eons. Oh. I owe you an apology, friend. It has been a while. I have been on an assignment for a long time now. As you may be aware, there have been outbreaks of zombieism and undead reports on worlds throughout the galaxy. I guess I forgive you. It's good to be fighting by your side. Wait, you fight space zombies? Aye, my spaceship and crew are sworn galactic undead terror slayers, also known as Guts. We investigate worlds with undead issues. Worlds just like... Ah, a newcomer. Welcome to Planet Romero. I am Dr. Robert Johnson. And I am Dr. James Johnson. We represent the controlling body of Evil Corp Medical Industries. I'm sorry you had to witness that. Distasteful business a moment ago. That is the third time this week, Dr. Johnson. <laughs> yes, Artix, we are well aware of that. However, let me assure you that we are here as, at Evil Corp Medical have the H1Z1 completely under control. Yes, that is indeed what you have announced. Excuse me, I feel a little strange. I need to rest. If you run into any more zombies, my emergency zombie hollow line is hashtag Artix zombies exclamation point. Again, I'm sorry you had to witness that. Now, how can we help you? The H1Z1. A zombie flu. Fatigue, body drop temperature, and mindless narcotic states are the symptoms. Right, Evil Corp Medical. Look around, this is the product of Evil Corp Medical, the leading medical production company in the system. The entire city is a near perfect controlled environment for all workers and all our factories. Currently, we are test marketing our latest wonder drug, Poozom. <sighs> it's the wonder drug that cures all your ills. At the moment, Poozom is available only here on Romero, where we've conducted our largest clinical trial to date. We hope to have it ready for system-wide distribution within the next few months. Did you experiment some people for that clinical trial? A short time later. 
And we've called for help from Nurse Helia. Warlock filled me in before I left. I have a feeling that Evil Corp Medical will not be much help, and we'd best investigate on our own. We should probably set up a base of operations somewhere in the city as soon as possible so I can set up my lab. Then I'll need you to get me some samples from those infected zombies. Mekia, it's good I found you. About the zombies, I think we... Nurse Helia, let me introduce you to... Oh, hello, Artix. It's been a while, Helia. Wait a minute, you two know each other? Artix is from planet Arthuria. In fact, Helia was my squire for a time. Really? That's great. But that was a long time ago. A very, very long time ago. A really long time. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Not since that thing on planet Carpenter. Oh great, you had to bring that up, didn't you? Okay, whoa, look at the time. Tons to do, gotta get everyone to up to speed on the zombie disease thing, right? Awkward. Oh, snap. No. But... No. Ugh. We've gotten some samples by fighting zombies. It's no good, that's too bad. What do you mean, all those samples... The samples are fine, it's just this H1V1 virus resembles several things and it may not even be a virus at all. What's worse is that at the, at the late stage, they can't figure out how it's transmitting or developing over time, only the final results. So there's no way to come up with a, pre with a preventative or vaccine or something? Unfortunately, no. For that, I need a subject in the early stages to test. Well, I've gotten bitten by plenty of zombies while getting the samples. That's going to be hard. If anyone shows the slightest early symptom around here, this should not be a problem. <laughs> you have a plan? Not exactly. I believe I know someone in the early stages. Who? Is it you? Artix, don't tell me it's you. It's him. Oh no. Uh... Artix! Oh no. Is it pink? He can't handle pink. Not sure, I think he's waking up. Helia? I'm here, Artix. Just rest. I'm getting another virus reading. Why am I on the table? Because you passed out and Helia needed to run some tests, so we improvised. Oh, yes, of course. How long? How long what? How long have you been infected? Not long. I started feeling it while we were gathering samples. I thought it was nothing at first, and then I thought I could fight it. <laughs> it's always a mistake in zombie films, not telling people, people thinking that they are special and that they can fight it. <sighs> I was not worried at first, because of my special blood type, I've always been immune to zombies and vampire bites. Okay, that expl okay never mind, then I guess that's a valid reason. But this zombie virus is something I've never encountered before. I should have said something sooner. Okay. That's, that's good, that, that's, that's uh, big of you, Artix. I can feel something happening inside me. Okay, my body is getting cold, my muscles are stiffening up. I always imagined going out battle, battling the evil undead. This is not exactly what I expected. Mekia, I want you to promise me something. What's that? If I am too far gone, you must continue with my work here. Make sure the zombies do not win. Whatever it takes. I fought that evil for a very long time, and I know that sacrifices must be made in the battle against the never-ending battle against the undead. If I am to go, I wish to go knowing that I am leaving the universe in good hands. All I ask is that when I am too far gone, you make it quick and clean, and that my mission will not ever be forgotten. Oh, stop being so dramatic. You're not turning into a zombie. I am not. He's not? Not according to the samples I took. There's no signs of necrotic RNA anywhere in Artex's, Artex's system. But the virus... Oh, he has a virus, all right. One very similar to H1V1 zombie virus. He has the polychromal flu. Achoo! What's that? It's rare, but it's somewhat contagious. Sometimes incl symptoms include... Uh, muscle fatigue, muscle stiffness, body temperature drop, or reverse fever, if you prefer. I don't. And in the late stage, 
A multicolored rash, mostly pink. Oh no, don't tell him it's pink. Yeah, anything but pink. <laughs> Fortunately, if treated, it's not fatal. Artix may feel like a zombie, but trust me, he's not turning into one. Good to hear. So, how do we treat him? That's the bad news. I don't have all the chemicals I need to make the treatment. They're available here on Romero, but... But... I tried to requisition some, but my request was flagged for review by someone very high in Evil Corp Medical. I also tried contacting Saluna, but interplanetary communications are down. I doubt that's a coincidence. So it looks like we're on our own. Good, I have a plan to solve this entire zombie mess. I just need to get to my ship. How fast can we get there? You are not going anywhere. You're still very sick, and if you leave now, you will die. I'm fine, as long as... As soon as the room stops moving, I will be ready to... The room is not moving, is it? Uh, no. But I can run back and forth like they did on the Star Travel Holo show if it makes you feel better. Artix. Aw, oh, man. No fair. Mechia gets to fight all the zombies. <sighs> Looks like you are the head of the Undead Slayers for this mission, Mechia. Take my badge. May the fates favor your battles. Things on Romero are bad. If H1Z1 gets off world, the entire galaxy will be infected. No pressure. Four materials. Okay, I'm going to gather four materials to treat Artix. Okay, we are now gathering the final piece we need for... Um, what do you call that? The cure for Artix's uh, multicolor flu. But I think we... Uh, we are encountering a thief we know, or will know, depending, depending on in what order I show these uh, clips. Whoops. I didn't do it. Nobody saw me. I was never here. Um, I didn't say you did anything? Oh, right. Sorry. Hey, you're not authorized to be in this area. What are you doing here? I was just... Wait a second. You don't look like lab personnel. What are you doing here? Me? Looking for unconsidered trifles? Finding forgotten treasures? Looking for the bathroom? Take your pick. Great, I don't have time for this. Pity? Well, no matter. There's nothing pretty here anyway, so I best to be off before I overstay my welcome. Well, that was strange. Helia, I have the antimicrobial corophysine. I'm heading back now, but uh, never mind. I'll fill you in when I get back. Great, we got it. So let's cure Artix. Oh, and this guy we picked up, uh, he wanted to, he did not, he, he worked for Evil, Evil Corp, but did not trust them, so he joined us. The cure should be working. How do you feel, Artix? Uh, where am I? Should I be saying brains? No, he just had the flu. Whew, I would have hated to slay myself. <laughs> <laughs> Mechia, I've done a lot of research on the virus and I've come up with some very interesting results. I wasn't able to confirm it until now, not until I got the samples from Artix. The Poozon reacts with the polychromal flu, converting the RNA chains to create a necrotic phage that, re that reacts with, subjects lymphatic systems and then cascading into becoming the, the, the H1Z1 virus. Flu plus Poozon equals zombie. That's what I said. <laughs> oh. Well, that was the short version. Was it just me, or is there something familiar about this whole situation? There is. You remember the nanovirus? No. Oh, right. Oh, the one that controls the zero, yes. Do you think it's related? Well, it definitely has similarities. The necrotic phage is a dormant component of the Poozam. That can't be possible. Evil Corp Medical tested samples of Poozon before any human testing was done. And I saw the results myself. Negative for all harmful and potentially harmful components. No medicine ever is negative for all harmful and potentially harmful components. What? Could those results have been tampered with before they were delivered to you? Outrageous! Poozon is safe. I take it myself. My test results clearly indicate that the polychromal flu triggered the dormant necrotic phage. You saw what they did to Artix. And even without the polychromal flu, that phage is, res is residing in the Poozom. Just waiting to be activated, what else might trigger it, I wonder. Are you implying that Evil Corp did this on purpose? That that's Evil Corp was somehow in cahoots with the Shadow Scythe? 
If that were true, they would use this to zombify the entire planet. We need to go up with the plan. There must be some way of curing everyone without any casualties. So here's how we'll do it. Oh, we're not several minutes later. And that is how we solve the zombie problem. Brilliant plan! What? Arctic snow? That's too dangerous. Helia, trust me. As long as I have your data, everything will turn out great. Look, there are other options, I'm sure of it. We can still save them. By the light, Helia, I have no choice. Um, guys, you can't be serious. That's entirely too risky. Look what we are up against. We simply do not have the time to come up with a new plan. Guys, this is classic you. You're always rushing into battle without thinking. Is this going to be <laughs> like Planet Carpenter all over again? This is nothing like Planet Carpenter. I have done this before. If there was truly another option, I would take it. But this is how it must be. Guys, argue later. Zombie apocalypse now. Right, I must be on my way to the SS Paladin. Be sure to get that data to me as fast as possible. I still think it's a bad idea. Is all in order, Dr. Johnson? I believe so, Dr. Johnson. Excellent. Phase Omega is complete. I will inform Mr. Zorbak. Hurry in your mecha to the com building and watch out for zombies. Bring a good energy blade. Got it. I just do not understand how a zombie can pilot a mecha. How the mecha is a zombie. And, and, and why this would happen. Why, why, why a zombie would even do this if they could. We made it to the calm building. We have the cure apparently and we're going to get it to the SS Paladin. So I watched uh, the mecha anime Neon Genesis Evangelion for the first time recently and uh, I, at first I thought it was very superficial but uh, it turned out to be a brilliant piece of work about loneliness. Just wanted to get that out there. We did it. Now we need to transmit the cure to Artix. Is it a digital cure? Apparently. Excellent, I have the cure. Now to just calibrate the SS Paladin. By the light! Helia, they have discovered my ship and are boarding! Machia must now get to the Paladin and finish the job. I'm afraid I can't let you get away with this. Don't self-destruct, no! Artix, come on! No! Oh no! You have to get you up there as fast as possible! I warned him this plan is reckless! I'm on it. If you fly me close enough, I can jump to the ship and complete the mass ex exorcism. What? Let's get going. We have to save Artix before it's too late. We're here, Mekia. Are you ready? Of course. Ready as I'll ever be. No. Oops. I guess I should deactivate that. What? Oh, we were supposed to fly out into space. Artix, we're coming. You got them good, I see. I'm a healer, but I also have a passion for killing. self destruct in 3210. Oh, he aborted it, okay. Whoa, two seconds later, and I would have been blown to smithereens. Okay, so that's the wipers. <laughs> we didn't get to this chapter yet in Starship Tech. So, is there a stick shift for the transformation thingy, or how did it work? I bet the owner's manual is in the glove box. What? Okay. Transformers mobilize, activate. Wow. Wow. 
Are we fighting the planet? What? Oh, we're healing brilliance. Permanent lights. Rune blessing. Okay, we'll see what those things do. Not really. Okay, healing brilliance. Sure. So, we're, going, we're, we're trying to cure the planets by... Oh no, oh I see, we're re reviving the planet, we, we're making its health bar go up. I don't know what the silverfish uh, thing mecha thingies are. Now we need to wait. We've got this. This one did the trick. Ooh, we are dying a little bit though. Come on. Uh, one more hit. Survive. Yes. Paladin's Light. Did we, we miss? <laughs> oh, never mind. Okay, okay. The, the, I think the heal, healing over time effect did it. Oh. <laughs> this really reminds me of uh, Dove, who, who can heal people by punching them in Dragon Fable. What was that? I have such a headache. Uh, are we cured? And they'll uh, either... Okay, okay, I think that was a jump in uh, Out of Happiness. And then they, they just... Um, Tried to freeze, freeze frame, but it didn't work. Evil Corp Corporate Headquarters. Meh. How disappointing. You failed me, Dr. Johnson and Dr. Johnson. But, 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 but... You do know the price for failure, don't you, doctors? Would you like to pick the jars? But Mr. Z, we have the Master H1Z1 virus. Really? Well, this changes things. The research can continue at our other Evil Corp laboratories. You place the master H1Z1 virus in the lab the moment we arrived. Haha! <laughs> Let's test it out. Bring the prisoner Arctic and the H1Z1. Now this will be entertaining. Excuse me, Mr. Z, sir. Didn't you just hear me? Bring me Arctic and the H1Z1 virus! Uh, sir. Don't make me ask you again! But, um, sir. Oh. <laughs> Good help is hard to clone these days. Dr. Johnson and Dr. Johnson, will you deliver our prisoner so that he can pay for his interferences? Yes, sir. Me scrapping up, I bet that will leave long lasting damage. I'm sure I can charge you for reconstructive surgery in the future. Maybe robotic legs. I bet you're parched. That's too bad for you, isn't it? Um, I beg your pardon, sir, but it appears that Arctic may have escaped. What do you mean, may have escaped? Well, we checked his cell and he was nowhere to be found. It would appear that he left you a note. Huh? What does it say? Tip for better in the end at number 4. If you want to get to the source, let them capture you. By the time you are reading this, my partner has already exercised the planet and I have escaped with the H1Z1 virus. Have a nice day. Bellalon Arctic. P.S. Here is a bill for the SS Paladin. <coughs> Yeah. Woo. Yeah. 
celebrate. That was amazing. Hold your applause. I still think it was incredibly reckless. Why did you have to get captured? I felt terrible letting Evil Corp know where you were so they could abduct you. Sometimes when you are in a dangerous situation, you need a dangerous solution. I apologize for worrying you, but I told you and I had it all under control. Well, I'm sure these recent events will change everything around here. I may even get a promotion and I promise that I will never let such a thing happen again. I had no idea. I'm certain you will. However, I must be off to my next great adventure. I trust the SS Paladin handled well? It handled like a dream. I filled the tank up to where it was when I got it. Well done, Mechia. It has been an honor fighting alongside you. I hope our paths may cross again in the future. Where are you headed? I'm not sure yet. I'm sure there are more planets requiring some undead slaying. I must do everything in my power to keep them at bay. Well, just do me a favor and don't be too hasty. They were all people once and they may not always be lost forever. I will take those words to heart. I am sorry to have worried you. May the light guide your path in life. And until we meet again, farewell everyone. That was a nice, very nice, that was a nice story. Yeah.